SNES Drunk. One reason I stubbornly stick to reviewing original Game Boy games is because of games like Faceball 2000. I love that the Game Boy's inherent limitations were just brushed aside by these developers, like, we want you guys to create a port for a 3D first-person shooter maze game, but for frickin' Game Boy. And the guys who made this game just shrugged their shoulders and said, sure, okay. That's right, Faceball 2000 is 3D gameplay with real polygons. It's just... Wow. And even better, when you get to certain areas and the frame rate starts to slow, you can almost literally feel the Game Boy sweating as it tries so hard to make this game work, and I just can't help but smile and cheer it on. So is Faceball 2000 any good? Well, it was back then. It was the only portable game of its kind, but now, eh, probably not so much, outside of being an interesting artifact. There's two game modes, Cyberspace and Arena. Cyberspace is the single player mode where there's up to 59 mazes. You zap everything in your path and find the exit. The gameplay is simple and able to be picked up instantly, however a strafe option would have been nice to have. As you might imagine, this game gets kind of tedious after a while since there's barely any variety in the basic gameplay. The mazes get insane and just about impossible after a while, and like I said, the frame rate struggles big time when you have multiple enemies on the screen. There's also an arena mode or multiplayer mode, which had to have been a freaking blast to play at the time. You can support up to 16 players if you daisy chain the four player adapter. That is absolutely awesome, and I so wish I could have been part of one of those back then. But uh, now? Can you name two people that you know that still have their original Game Boy? Because I can't. Yeah, sadly there's just no way this game holds up today because the big appeal wasn't just the novelty of a portable first person shooter, but that it was actually multiplayer. But uh, good luck getting together with people to play this with. Anyway, like I briefly mentioned earlier, Faceball 2000 is actually a port of Midi Maze, a game made for the Atari S computer back in 1987. In addition, and I did not know this, they also made a port for the Super Nintendo. And yeah, it's pretty much the same game. It just looks how you'd expect it would on a 16-bit system. Not much to write home about, and it's only a two-player game at most. It might have been a worthwhile pickup today if it were four-player compatible. Anyway, yeah, as much as I want to root for the little game that could, Faceball 2000 just isn't worth picking up today. I love the ingenuity behind the visual design, and just the fact that this game just works somehow in a Game Boy, it makes me smile, I don't know. So while it's obviously outdated, it's still an interesting piece of gaming history.